Hi, Tim and Laura. So I'm at 72 Wildview and I like it. You know, I really like it. Um, I like the layout inside, so I'm gonna go through and give you a little tour. Also, by the way, the furniture can stay with a good offer. And I'll show you the rest of the gas fireplace. Do a little turn around. And the master is on the main floor. There's two bedrooms on this level, two bedrooms downstairs. All of the bedrooms are good size, quite large. It's a king bed. Bit of a view out of the master, big windows. There's curtains covering part of them. You have a walk-in closet, good size. And let's show you the master bath. Double sink. So from the living room, kind of circles around to the front door in the kitchen. And you have a spiral staircase, which goes up to the office. We'll take a look at that. This upper kind of loft area as an office, you could really, you know, make it whatever you want it to be. Light and bright. Storage will never be a problem in this house. It's all kinds of Eve storage. Tons of closets, they're all big. And we'll head to the other side of the house on the main level. In the front door, it's the hallway, little closet there. Bedroom number two on the main level. Again, the curtains kind of block out the big windows, but this is your view out of the second bedroom on the main level. Another large walk-in closet, attic crawl space up there. Back out to the hallway, you have the washer dryer right across from that second bedroom. That's the stairs to go down to the lower level, but finish off up here. Full bath, so second bath on the main level. Huge mudroom to come in, plenty of, re plenty of room for everything, it's good size. And you have the two car garage with a lot of loft um, storage space up above. To the lower level, which has its own separate family room. So if you have a few friends and family come, it's a great setup. Coming down the stairs is this little alcove. They have it set up like a little kind of cafe and they use it as the bar. Could be a wine cellar, there's a few things you could do. Hallway down on the main level. Bedroom number one. Very good size and walkout. Really nice wood feel. You have the, you know, winter views of the mountains from every room. Another large walk-in closet with shelving. And as always, please excuse my video. Um, let's just say not the smoothest of videos. Now through here, we're going to go into the family room. I'll explain this door when we go through this level. Separate zones. I do want to say on the upper level, I noticed that they have very expensive, I think they're V-Lux lights. They dim. I think they can dim naturally i'll ask the seller but you have a lot of windows down here on the lower level furniture i think i said this um, can stay with a good offer you could probably hook up for another um, stove down here heat is propane this is a really great space they've got a bunk room in here 
which also goes out to the backyard. Utility room off of the bunk room. That's your uh, furnace. This has been set up right here for a third bathroom on this level, easily finished, uh, finishable. But this goes on uh, for quite a ways. And then just for perspective on layout, this door is the one I pointed out when I first came into this level off of the downstairs. So hallway. bottom line, might be worth coming up to look at it. It is $695,000, but it is a nice custom built um, log sided home. I guess it's actual logs on the outside, but it's, it's really quite nice. Anyway, that's today in real estate. Hope you guys are doing well. Thanks.